The project is known as the Gender Dynamics in Academic Attainment of School-Aged Children in St. Lucia before and during COVID-19 and has as its main objectives to compare the academic performance of male primary school children with that of their female counterparts and to explore the extent to which there are gender disparities in the instruction, assessment and discipline of primary school students within the education system. The project, according to Secretary General of the National Commission for UNESCO, Masia Symphorian, compares gender differences in performance of school-aged children in face-to-face -face and remote instructional learning settings and provide policy and future research recommendations to close any gap in educational attainment within the country. Within the sphere of education, much of the gender-related intervention, or rather gender-based intervention, have focused on increasing girls' access to education. In several member states, this remains a major obstacle to achieving SDG 4 and the attainment of education for all. However, increasingly, UNESCO is recognizing the specific challenges experienced by a number of member states as it relates to boys' performance and boys' education in general. In particular, issues of high levels of absenteeism, dropout rates, and of overall academic performance. Minister with Responsibility for Gender Relations, Honorable Virginia Albert Poyet, who was an educator by profession, says gender inequality remains one of the greatest threats to sustainable development. She highlighted male underachievement as a very disturbing concept requiring well-grounded research that is open and asks the right questions while at the same time noting the plight of women facing increasing rates of unemployment during the COVID pandemic. Because we have an economy that is heavily dependent on tourism, and that is where the majority of girls and women are employed, and that has dealt a devastating blow to employment for women. We have vested interest in understanding male academic attainment in our current context. Given pervading gender stereotypes in education and the traditional gender-blind educational curricula, assessment and disciplinary practices in our educational institutions. We cannot ignore the conversation in the broader context of the growing male population in our prisons and the loss of our young men to violence and suicide. The expected target groups include primary school boys and girls from grades 4 and 6, primary school teachers and principals in four educational districts, and the top 2019 common entrance examination results placings in selected districts. Permanent Secretary in the Department of Education, Innovation and Vocational Training, Michelle Charles, says no child should be left behind and that the policies and the programs that administer education in St. Lucia must reflect that in ensuring there is equal opportunity and nurturing for both male and female students. Of note is the fact that the achievement of girls at national and regional examinations has improved over the years. This is an accomplishment worth celebrating. As we recognize the improved performance of our girls, we lament the lower than normal attainment of our boys. This is cause for concern. It pleases me, therefore, to be part of an initiative that seeks to probe and present causes and possible recommendations for addressing that issue. The project is one of four programs granted funding this current biennium under the UNESCO Participation Program. The project will run from October 2021 to February of 2022. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science, Technology and Vocational Training, I am Chris Sackney reporting.